movie, we'll review Excel Journal Import from Dynamics Nav Add-ons. This utility allows users to create worksheets in Excel and import the data directly into any journal in Nav, including the General Journal, the Cash Receipts Journal, the Purchase Journal, Sales Journal, Job Journal, and so on. Uh, I can also go into the ca uh, the uh, Fixed Asset Journal and the Recurring Journal, which we'll take a look at in a second. So let's take a look and see how we do this with uh, an Excel worksheet. So the first thing we're going to do is open up an Excel worksheet. And you can see what we've done in row one is we've created a, a set of fields, uh, cells, that have the captions from the fields in the journal. So as long as row one, you have a, a caption that exactly matches the caption of a, of a field in the nav journal, the system will import it. So you can see that we have mixed, uh, mixed entries. Some of them will be entries into a GL account. This will be an invoice for a customer account. This is going to go into a bank account and so on. So there's a whole variety of different, uh, uh, different pieces of data. Uh, it doesn't matter what order that this goes in. You can see that the amount is uh, in front of the account type. Uh, salesperson code is over here. And if we look over here, you'll see that we have a number of all of the different uh, extended dimensions. So this will allow you to import into all dimension values. It really doesn't make any uh, difference what order this, in, this is in, which is uh, particularly helpful if you're exporting data from another application, such as a payroll program. So we have all of this data. We can work with it in, in Excel. Uh, it supports the ability to create uh, supporting worksheets with calculations. So you can have a, a calculated field. Then all you need to do is go over to Nav, Make sure that the file is saved. We're going to go to Departments. And in this case, we'll go to General Ledger. As you can see, we're working in Microsoft Dynamics Nav 2013 R2. Uh, this add-on is available for all versions of Nav from version 4.0 SP3 on to Nav 2013 R2. So we're going to go into the General Journal in this case. And we go to the Actions tab on the ribbon, and we've added a, a button here that says Journal Import VL, Vertical Leaf. So the first thing we want to do is point to the worksheet that we want to import and click OK, click Open. And then we have to tell it which worksheet in the file we want to import because there may be a number of different, uh, uh, different worksheets. So we only have one worksheet in this case, so we'll accept that one, and it populates here. We've named, this is the, the template, that, the general journal template we're going to import. We could import into any general journal template if we wanted to from here, but that would be a little awkward because it would import into a screen that we don't have open. So we're going to import into the general journal, which is here. And the batch, we can import into uh, any available batch. In this case, we'll import into the default batch. So we click OK. And the program reviews the data, analyzes the data, and brings it in. Now, if in the worksheet uh, there is a value that doesn't exist in NAV, the, the data is validated on the way in. That means that all of these uh, GL accounts, in fact, must exist. This bank account must exist. All of the values for all of the dimensions must exist. And if you have either misspelled something or you have a value in here that doesn't exist, uh, the program will error and tell you which, uh, which data item uh, it, co it couldn't find. Now, you can also see that it's not necessary to have data in all fields. If the data is there, it will be imported. So that's how the, the uh, how it works. Now, we've done several things that are a little bit unusual to allow you to be able to bring data in. Let's clear this uh, clear this data. Now, let's take a look for a second at another journal. 
let's take a look at in periodic activities the recurring journal and in the recurring general journal let's clear this entry so we go to journal import and we point to the file that we want to import and in this case we will uh, we'll bring in the, um, the into the reversing entries so we click on open again we specify the worksheet that we want to import it'll be sheet one click OK so not only can we bring in all of the, the regular data but we can and we can we can include reversing method we can include a recurring frequency calculation if we want uh, all of this is allowed to be brought in we can also bring in boolean checkbox values uh, we can bring in data from custom fields that have been added as long as the field caption account number exists on row one in the excel sheet exactly as it appears here you can bring in any data now, one of the requests that we had, uh, let's go back to the general journal for a second and clear this data. And home and delete. Let's go back to the general journal. Now, one of the problems that some people have is the fact that they don't know what the document number is going to be. Uh, you notice in the last time that we brought this in, uh, we have created the document number line by line by line. Now that's fine if you use the balancing account number and balancing account type. But what if you're, you're uh, making multiple, uh, multiple line entries with a, re with a uh, uh, an offsetting entry and you want the program to create the document number so that all the document all of the lines will be grouped together well if you open up an Excel worksheet and you'll notice here we have document number and we've put the document number in if you don't enter a number here then but you have document number then uh, the program will will import no number and you'll have to do it in the in the journal however let's look at a different worksheet let's look at let's look at the auto numbering worksheet now in this worksheet what we've done is we don't have the field document number at all. If you don't have a field of a field in row one called document number, then the program will create the document number as it imports, and it's going to look for a, a, a debit, 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 credit, debit, 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 credit. So the fact that it runs into a credit entry will signal the uh, creation of the next uh, the next document number. So let's take a look at that work and go back to nav in the general journal and we hit actions journal import again point to the the file that we want to bring in and click open Then we point to the sheet that we want to import and click OK. And the program will do its uh, calculation. And you'll notice it has created the document numbers using the, uh, the numbering series that's set up in the batch name. So we have all of these. And at the, uh, at the uh, uh, debit entry, it starts a new number. So. Uh, Excel journal import is extremely easy to use and although uh, NAV 2013 allows you to copy and paste from a worksheet uh, what we've done is allow you to bring this in uh, in any order and 
which which you can't do in Excel by copy and pasting. You have to have the fields exactly match the the order and the fields that you have on screen. Uh, not necessary with Excel Journal Import, and also it will bring in non-standard values like Boolean values, uh, reversing calculation values, and it will also allow you to bring in any custom values. So that's Excel Journal Worksheet. Uh, it's a huge time saver. Uh, I had somebody ask me to test this by importing 100,000 lines, and it took two and a half minutes to bring in 100,000 lines from an Excel worksheet. Please feel free to get in touch with us. I'll be happy to show this to you uh, in any version of NAV that you like. Uh, and if you'd like pricing information, contact your NAV partner or contact me, bob.cole at dynamicsnavaddons.com. Thank you very much.